Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Wong. Today I would like to talk about what is the difference between spring and summer. Okay, spring still has a little bit of snow. There's not that many hot days in spring. Summer has a lot of hot days in summer like heat waves and a little bit of rain. Spring has a lot of rain. What I thought of when I was little and I quite think of it today still depending how the weather could be. Spring and summer is just about the same seasons. But how though spring can still attract to winter and then late spring will attract to summer and then summer is just, it, it's hot in spring there you can see 70 degrees in the forecast it could be like 50 degrees 70 degrees as you can see you don't see hardly any temperatures that are above 100 degrees depending on where you're at though because some places has very hot days more than other places and summer it's too many hot days you will see like a some of the hundred degrees weather on the forecast in the summer but spring you don't and summer you don't see a 39 degree temperature spring you do You'll be surprised um there could be an inch of snow in the spring but summer there's no snow so though that is the difference between spring and the summer is temperatures that is the difference between the spring and the summer like i said um it's the weather And the temperature. It's time to get saved. I would like you to go to Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we all have sinned, we all have made mistakes. I would like to go to Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Because we all have sinned, we all deserve to die and go to hell. But don't worry, I got another verse to say. And that is Romans chapter 5 and verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love toward us. Now, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us, so we don't have to go to hell when we die. But we have to do one thing, though. I would like to go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9 through 10, which we'll over to verse 13. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved, but with a mouth, or with a heart, excuse me, one believes unto righteousness, and with a mouth confessing is made unto salvation. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Once you ask God to come into your heart, you will be saved. Let's get saved right now. Don't wait till next week because there may not be a next week. Alright, let's get saved. Dear Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. And that you died and rose from the dead for me. 
please forgive me for my sin and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you just prayed, you are now saved. I would like to go to 1st John chapter 5 verse 11 to 13. And this is the testimony that God has given us to our life. And this is life is in his son. He who does not have the son has life. He who does not not have the son but God does not have life. And these things I have heard unto you who believe in the name of the son of God that you may know that you that you have to our life and they may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. You can know that you are saved, not to hope so, it's a no so. I would like to go to John chapter 10 and verse 28. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. No one cannot take you away from God. No one cannot. I would like to go to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to observe all things that I have committed to you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Baptism is the next step after getting saved. I would like to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 41 through 42. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized, and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Go to church and learn about the gospel. I would like to go to First Peter chapter two and verse two. As newborn babes desire the poor milk of a word that you may grow thereby. I would like to go to Philippines chapter 4 verse 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing but everything by prayer and several cases with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God and the pit peace of God who is suppresses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. 
read your Bible and pray every day. Prayer changes things. I would like to go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. That will be the last verse for today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves us. He loves me and you. That's all I have. Um, since Easter is next Sunday, next week I would like to talk about, from the Bible, why did Jesus die on the cross? I would like to talk about that next week. Goodbye everyone.